Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ask That Podcast on YouTube. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh. The weather change has got my sinuses acting up. This is issue 51 of the second volume of the Swamp Thing series. Sophisticated sus Suspense. August 86, so May, June. And you got Alan Moore, Rick Beach, and Alfredo Alcala working on this issue. So this is one of the more written ones. This basically, I have... Between trade, hardcover, and issues, I have the entire Moore run and a good chunk of the Veach run. But anytime I find these in a the cheap bin for a dollar or less and they're in okay shape, they're not falling apart, I grab them. Especially when you kind of get the feeling that it's just going to sit there and sit there and get more and more beat up. So what we got here? We got Heroes for Hunger Ad, Phantom Stranger, and Dark Dead Man, and Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing, home free. Alamore, Rick Beach and Alfredo are doing the art. Karen Berger's the editor. Tatiana Wood is the colors and John Costanza is the letter. Uh, sorry. Yeah, the letterer. Karen Berger is the editor. Fucking bonkers ads. The Teen Titans Spotlight. Look at this. Every month, the full-length story feature one of your favorite heroes and villains from the ever-popular series, written by Marv Wolfman, art by the best artist drawing comics today, beginning in May. I'm thinking this is towards getting towards the end of Moore's run. I don't remember. I don't remember what issue his run ends with. It's been so long. Because this is one of those that I read most of it when it was coming out. Because... 86, you know, I think it was like, what, 84? You know, I was the right age where I was reading. I got clued into the book about six to eight months into it, really. Moore's run on it. I got clued in by a really cool comic shop owner. Oh, the old um, Heroes role playing game from uh, what, Mayfair? I think it's Mayfair. Yeah, Mayfair. I had, I, oh, look at this old subscription. Hex, oh, that'd be a cool one. Warlord, Blue Devil, Sergeant Rock Amethyst. Those are my monthly, okay. GI Combat was still coming out of Aris House of Mystery. Which was the subscription back then? Nine dollars for a year. Wow. If you order two or more, you get them for eight bucks a piece. That's kind of cool. And look at this, John Constantine. This is not his first appearance, but this is, I'm pretty sure, before he got his own series. So it's an earlier appearance of him. Fucking Homa, Louisiana. Been there for wrestling shows. <laughs> Fucking Homa. It's the only reason I knew about Homa. I was, I was like, why do I know this name when I was going there? It's like, oh yeah, Swamp Thing. This is... Is this the storyline that ends with him going to Gotham? It's a really cool hot man ad. Who's doing, who's doing work on it, as I say? Isabel and Hal. It's on that front cover, so Tony Isabel. That'd be, that'd be a cool ride. Fucking hookers. This guy just chowing down on his hoagie. Monster Sex Queen jumps in bail, arrested in Gotham. Expedition hearing date set. Start of the summer, twice the secrets, twice the fun. Halo. Mark, Mike W. Barr and Dick Giordano. Secret Origins. 48 pages featuring the best of the new with the best of the old Batman by Roy Thomas, Marshall Rogers, and Terry Austin. Begins. It all begins with Secret Origins, number six on sale in June. Great series. Another one, dig out of the cheap men's. I don't think any of them have much value. Most comic shops aren't going to bother because what they have is reader copies of that shit. I'd admit copies of a lot of it's hard. Okay. Got a nice little letter page. Yeah, for M&M's. Really cool looking issue. Um, flipping through it, I remember the story a little bit, but it's been a long, long time since I've read Swamp. I need, that's one of those where I just released it down and read it. But hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. All the other bullshit. Bye-bye.